It's a word, pojagi, spelled with a B or a P. This is a tricky question because the word pojagi is not an English word, so it is technically spelled with Korean characters. However, when it is anglicized and spelled as an English word, you'll see it spelled both ways. Now, in my writing on my website, you'll see that I spell it with a P, and there's a simple reason for this. When I first started researching, that is how I saw it mainly spelled. So here's some of the books I got when I was first starting to research. And these are the English books. I did get a number of books that were in Korean, so obviously they spelled it with Korean characters. But this one, spelled with a P, spelled with a P. This one, if you look inside, spells with a P. This one spells with a P. Spelled with a P. Spelled with a P. Spelled with a P. So I thought I was good spelling it with a P. However, I did learn recently from my friend, the Pajagi artist, Young Min Lee, you can check out her information, that the Korean government actually uh, has tried to establish something to get standardized spelling for Korean words in English. And under that ruling, it would be spelled with a B. And so that's why a lot of newer publications you'll see spelled with a B. For example, in this book, spelled with a B. In this book, spelled with a B. The English teacher, Sarah Cook, she has a beautiful book that has projects and tutorials spelled with a B. And so that is more commonly becoming the way to spell it. It's not only the word Pujagi that's been influenced by this. One other example that I know of is the city Busan in Korea, B-U-S-A-N. In the past, it was often spelled with the P, Pusan. So sometimes you'll still see remnants of that floating around. And in fact, the Busan airport code is P-U-S because it was at that time spelled with a P. So in light of this, I'm not gonna go back and redo all the information that I have on my website to change it, to spell it with a B. However, I'm probably gonna spell it both ways just to, to help indicate that it is the same word. So I hope that clears up any confusion. No matter which way you spell it, it is a beautiful art form. So I hope you will check it out. For more information, follow Evita Studio.